Hi friends, how are you? So today uh, we are going to discuss about differ load contents or something about pagination format in repeating dynamic layout or it can be a drop down or it can be a dynamic layout or it can be table layout. So we are mostly concentrating on what is this repeating uh, sorry differ load content. So here I do not have any differ load contents. So what exactly this will show that we will be seeing it. Okay. So I'm submitting it. I'm also even checking whether I have added any uh, differ uh, load contents on dynamic uh, layout. No, I haven't done. Okay. So even on table layout also, we'll check whether I have added anything. So if you see, I added something called as progressive over here and we'll go to presentation in presentation. Yes, I even didn't add anything over here. Okay. Submit. Okay. So then uh, after saving this, when you see uh, the application, now you will understand or uh, when you see the case, you can see everything is loaded onto the screen at a time, like whatever this, whatever uh, the repeating dynamic layout, if you see, this is loading at a time. And even if you see the products, products are also loading at a time. So if you are on the screen, if your screen is, uh, you know, having lot many things which have to be loaded so it takes uh, you know to to load all the data on the screen it takes certain fraction of time so to avoid that or to make uh, you know some delay in opening uh, certain data at the initialization of the page then you go with what then you go with this something called as differ load content so for example, now I will make this dynamic layout to be differ load content. That means I'm, I'm somewhat somewhere, you know, making not to initialize at the time of screen rendering onto the, I mean, uh, this particular UI rendering onto the screen. So I'm just selecting this differ load content on a dynamic layout, submit this and save this and let's create the case and see what you can see the changes. If you see, right, there is certain delay of, you know, loading this particular data. Okay, so we'll see again. Yeah, see the difference again. So let's dynamic layout is there. So I'm unselecting this differ load contents, submit this, save this and create the case and click on create directly you can see that your data has been displayed onto the screen now let's again do the same thing i'm just changing this to differ load contents you can even specify a preloading activity before loading what other things if you want to do you can also do that but now i'm not doing that i'm just going with the differ load contents submit here save and then click on create sample case and see it is taking some time to load your data means at the time of initialization itself this particular data is not getting loaded so that is what you know differ load pages talks about so it takes time to or it takes time to load at the initialization of your screen okay so now in the same way we will see in the repeating dynamic layout so let me go back to this so it's the same uh, uh, section so here i won't do differ load let it be like this submit and in repeating dynamic layout i'll go with this and here i have differ load okay and submit this this also acts same as what we did with our uh, dynamic layout. It takes time to display on the screen. Can you see? It takes display on this. But if your repeating layout has lot many things on the screen, like for example here, how many in my repeating dynamic layout is having how many how many things? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Only six. But if you have some 
more than more than six and at a time if you you know if you want all the data under the screen takes time again it will you know again uh, you are loading that page becomes very tough for you you know to retrieve everything so even there also you can make delay of showing everything on the screen at a time so for that what you can do is you can go for pagination so in the pagination in the repeating dynamic layout if you select this there is something called as pagination here so in pagination you can select progressively load on user actions so whenever you select how many how much how many pay how many number of records you want to show on the page so I selected instead of because I have only less so I selected others and selected two okay so two only two and again whenever user action is performed then only other the next two will be showing up on the screen so I've added two here submit save and let me create the case again okay so let me create the case so created and now if you see still it is taking to load because I made refer to load but in the progression can you see only two are coming up now I'll click on load more another two will be coming up because I selected two again I'll click another two load more again another two will be coming up so this is how you will add based on the user action if you do not want on the user action you can change you can take other one also I mean other uh, you have another option also shown there you can even select that in the dynamic layout instead of progressive load on user action you can go for progressively load on scroll means whenever you scroll it slowly each whenever based on the scroll it will be adding two rows onto the screen so let me click on save and create sample and case and create it if you see yes only two you got now I'm just scrolling this another two will be coming up another two I'm scrolling another two right so this is how you know you will be adding your progressive uh, scrolling or progressive use on user action you will be doing this is what pagination we are talking about so this is about defer load and pagination on repeating dynamic layout and dynamic layout now we will be talking the same thing on the same thing on the table layout so how do we do it on the table layout so go to this so this is our table layout click on it now this will be available under presentation under presentation you have collapsible right here it is and you can just select this and click on defer load okay so before that we will understand what is what if we are not doing this okay so uh, what if we are just simply using this particular option okay expand on load expand on load is there so submit so this I will delete so that you will understand table layout now so save this so next close this and create sample create this okay so now you got products and everything you got here all six now let me go back to clipboard and see whether I can see all the six cases or sorry all the key, uh, six records available in PY work page yes if you see all the six PY work page have come so directly it loaded onto the page whenever your screen has been rendered now what I do is now I'll go with the defer load so let me go back to this and instead of go to presentation go to presentation and instead of expanding on load I'll make defer load content okay so submit this save this now you I think you understood now here what it is so next click on new sample and then click on create see there is nothing on the screen if you see there is nothing on the screen even if you go to clipboard even if you go to clipboard and see PY work page there is no data in the clipboard also that means what happened you have stopped loading the content directly whenever you are initializing the page or on the screen so now what you can do you can just simply expand it all the data is come up so on click on or all expanding this you can see the data so now if you see in the clipboard right 
now you can see peer work page and now you can see products in products everything has come up right so this is how you do with the uh, differ load so you may have doubt so if I have now if I do not have collapsible if it is bar or if it is if I don't select expanded then how it is okay so let me go back to that so what I'm saying is if in presentation if I write uh, if I don't if I do this collapsible uh, uh, expand and load it if I don't select this and submit okay so what happens whether I get the data onto the clipboard or not see even it is not showing but let's see in the clipboard can you see already products has come even though you know you didn't selected that expand on load also but the product has already came onto the screen right can you see your product is already available on the screen which we didn't see whenever it was differ on load okay we haven't seen that which is there on differ on load so where wait is that where we have to do it so here on the settings icon of table yes uh, go to presentation I'm sorry go to presentation I uh, here we have seen that right so differ on load so whenever it is there then it waits or it based upon you know expansion only you got the data into your clipboard it means then only it has been retrieved by the time it was not retrieved at all so this is what differ load contains in table layout and here also we have paginations okay if you go to general tab you have pagination here so in the paginations you can see progressive here so what do you mean by progressive it means based on the uh, each and every means based on the uh, you add it on it then only it will show and based on the scroll then only it will be adding other extra rows onto your screen okay means already rend it will be rendered but uh, it will show you only by based on the scroll so how it is okay so let me submit this save this and click on create sample create can you see this is expanded can you see only two you got now okay only two but this you can see based on the based on the scrolling so next again I'll create I'll see that scrolling will have certain time if you see there okay can you see slowly it is scrolled right there will be a time gap between whenever you're progressing right so that is what pagination in the uh, in the table layout and we will also see on the we'll see on what we will see on the drop down okay so this is my drop down here so on the drop down also you have something called as uh, if you scroll down you have something called as load behavior so based on the load behavior also you can change for example uh, I will make it as at screen load so at screen load means by at the time of screen loading only whatever the data you have uh, asked it will be showing up on the screen so submit this save this and then create sample create can you see already data has come up here okay now what I do uh, instead of uh, instead of loading at the time of screen load I'll make it as on use on user over submit that means whenever or my cursor goes to that place then only it will getting it will be getting rendered can you see the product name is empty here so whenever my mouse goes there you get the data so that's about page nation load behavior and uh, differ load contents thank you